Swimoutlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Welcome everyone to a special edition of the Morning Swim Show. We're your co-hosts, Jeff Cummings and Tiffany Elias. The U.S. Olympic swimming trials begin Monday in Omaha, Nebraska, and Swimming World will be there to bring you extensive coverage from all eight days at the CenturyLink Center. We thought it would be great to get swimming fans ready for the 2012 trials with a look back at some of our video highlights from the 2008 meet. We've got some highlights from post-race interviews with Michael Phelps, Elizabeth Beisel, Derek Torres, Gary Hall Jr., and many others. We also have clips from our recap shows in Omaha in 2008. We'll be bringing you more post-session recaps this year with our race day coverage sponsored by SwimOutlet.com and featuring Tiffany and myself along with our senior writer John Lone who will be in the press box analyzing every race. Jeff and I will be in the media zone next week getting first words from some of the best swimmers the sport has ever seen. But before that, we want you to sit back and enjoy a trip down memory lane from the 2008 U.S. Olympic Trials. The 12,000 spectators that packed the stands tonight, you would have thought the 4th of July came early. I don't know how, the, oh my god, I don't know how that happened. I'm like in awe. Is all your teammates? Uh, I mean, our relay team has the potential to be the best four guys that have ever swam the 800 free relay. Um, you know, that's by far the fastest turn of free field I've ever been in, including Worlds, the Olympics. I don't think I'll remember any of this in 10 minutes. It's kind of a blur, but um, it's really exciting, and I'm just really thrilled and um, couldn't ask to start the meet off any better. <laughs> Had to see my family. Just want to see their faces, and it's the image I'll remember for the rest of my life. Liesl's, Liesl's um, second half is you know, a lot faster than mine typically is. So to be out under her world record is, you know, something that I pretty much do in every race. Um, but we'll see how it happens later this summer. And uh, breaking the world record was just a, uh, a factor of the, the heat I was in. You know, I, I would take that just to win. So I'm very elated. That's amazing. <laughs> to have it finally there, I just, it seemed like it was part of that dream again, but it's real, and I guess it'll probably take a few more hours to soak in, but so excited. I don't know. It's just relieved right now. Didn't quite go as fast as I wanted to, but only got to get first or second, so pretty relieved. Uh, well, you're definitely always going for the win every time you dive in the water. So I just put my head down and reach for the wall. No, I wasn't really surprised that I went out. That it's, for whatever reason, it's pretty easy for me to go out in the fly. Um, if I back off, I just go slower. It doesn't make it any easier in the next 150. So I just kind of do whatever my body wants to do on that butterfly. And in the backstroke, I was just trying to keep my turnover consistent and keep it up without burning my legs too much. And um, my breaststroke kind of got away from me a little bit. I just didn't um, feel like I had the right rhythm. And then the freestyle, I, I, again, I don't know my splits yet, but it felt pretty good. Painful, but pretty good. <laughs> Here we are at the United States Swimming's Olympic trial. It's day five. We're in the aqua zone. Actually, we're in the Speedo Aqua Lab, where they have a great exhibit of all their swimsuits. And behind us is a Swimming Hall of Fame exhibit from 1970. I secured a spot on the team, and I think that's the most important thing. You know, this gives me an opportunity to really get down to it and, and focus on what I have to do in the next month to prepare myself to swim that race how I want to swim it. I mean, it's, I'm, not, I'm not completely disappointed. It's the second fastest time I've ever swam, but I would have liked to have been a little bit faster. Yeah, I'm having a blast, and I think um, I have a, my attitude towards the trials is just I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I'm having a blast. I'm loving it, but I have things planned just in case I don't make the team, you know, what I want to do, and if I make the team, it's like an added bonus, but I'm not putting pressure on myself, you know, I'm just here to have fun and enjoy it and 
soak in the crowd and the energy, so whatever. Chasing a guy like Brendan every day is guaranteed to make you better. And uh, he's got one of the best mental attitudes towards swimming you can have. So just being around him, uh, you know, helps you out the mental aspect and, and uh, you know, makes you tougher in, in, in that part of the sport. I think I've surpassed cloud 99, so I'm kind of on top of the mountain right now. I've never felt so elated about swimming and that's saying something. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for a long time and now I can rest. Uh, I feel elated, you know, just super excited. I told you guys it was going to take 47 to get on the team last night and, you know, I came ready to go 47 and I was just happy I could do it. Um, got my mind right after swimming a little bit slower than I would have liked last night. You know, good thing it was the semifinals. And um, I'm just so excited to be on my first Olympic team. It's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah, I mean, my fly felt really good. Uh, the first 200, I was just kind of taking it easy, uh, just getting a feel for the water and the competition. And then breaststroke I've been working on lately, so just hammer the breaststroke and hope for the best. Yeah, you're um, I didn't. I mean, I was just because I know that there's a lot of strong freestylers, and I was just hoping I could hold on to it. And I think at like the 350 turn, I was like, hey, I, I could go to the Olympics. Tonight, there was excitement, world records, and there was also heartbreak. Yeah, there's been ups and downs, but that's what life is. So if you can't handle it by, by the time you're 22, like I am, doing this for as long as I've been doing it, then you're not ready to be the best in the world. And also the big story was Gary Hall Jr., who seemed to give his farewell speech to the press as he stood up at the podium and he uh, talked about what uh, sprinting has made to him, uh, how the sport has changed since he first got into it, and he basically went around and thanked all the press out there for every, all their support and all the attention they brought to it. Yeah, this is my last race until I race again. Your goal is to make the team, but once you're on the team, I think anyone will tell you that, that they're going for medals. I mean, uh, even if you're seated seventh going into the Olympic Games, every, everyone's competitive enough that they want to win a medal. So I can't sit here in line and say, oh, I'm just glad I'm going. I mean, I want to win a medal. I mean, this week turned out how I wanted it to. You know, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I'm ready for the challenge that lies ahead of me. And, uh, you know, I think at the Olympics it's going to be harder than it was here. Um, it, it's a higher level. and. You know, you add the relays in there, and, and yeah, it's the Olympic Games. So, you know, it's something I'm looking forward to, and hopefully, something I'd be successful at.